Hi, I'm Jen Hadfield from Tater Tots and Jello, and I'm also a designer with American Crafts and Pebbles. And today I'm so excited to be at scrapbook.com showing you my latest line called Chasing Adventures. And Chasing Adventures I'm so excited about because I recently got remarried and my husband and I have children and we are blending our family and going on adventures together. So this line is all about going on adventures, whether it's in your backyard or on a trip or wherever you are making memories. There's lots of fun colors and really cute things that have to do with travel and just having a great time with your family. So on my blog, Tater Tots and Jello, I love to talk about home decor. And one of my passions is using paper in home decor projects. So this, today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute wreath using paper. And the fun thing about this wreath is that you can use it for anywhere in your home because you're using paper. And so there's millions of options that you can use. So you can make one for your son's room, for your front door, for Valentine's Day, for Christmas. And you also can add anything. I have a heart here, but you could put a square in there. You could put a flower for spring. So the their possibilities are just endless. Um, so let's get started. What I did for this wreath is I used chipboard for the base. And if you have a craft cutting machine, you can just cut it out on your craft cutting machine. It's so easy. And also the shape in the middle is also out of chipboard. Well, I use wood, but you can use chipboard on it. So, um, so you'll cut out your wreath form. So my wreath is 12 inches wide, which is exactly perfect for scrap of paper. Um, and let me just show you some of my cute papers that you could choose from. So these are my double-sided papers. So if you were gonna do one for your son's room, you could do like trees for adventures and maybe do like a circle with his name on it or something like that. Um, there's maps, just lots of cute things about traveling airplanes, we have taxi cabs, we have these little girls that I use, so this is the paper that I used on that. Um, there's also like really fun icons like cactuses and lots of florals, just tons of cute options that have lots of color and are just adorable. So let me show you. I'm going to show you how to do just kind of a neutral wreath for your front door if you want to do something like that. Um, the paper that I chose is also for my line, and it's kind of like a buffalo check. So once you have your chipboard wreath cut out, you're going to just um, either trace or cut on your craft machine a circle that's the same width as the wreath. So that's what you're going to do. And then what I did is I Mod podge this onto the wreath. And you can either use Mod Podge or adhesive, and it just kind of depends on what you're gonna use the wreath for. So if you're gonna put this wreath on your front door, what I would recommend is using outdoor Mod Podge and just covering the front and the back of the wreath, and that's gonna kind of protect it. But if you're just gonna hang this in your home, you could use adhesive, that would be super easy. Or I just put Mod Podge on the wreath form and then I put my paper on and just smoothed it out, smoothed all the bubbles out. And that way you don't have like the shine of the Mod Podge. So what you're gonna do is you're going to Mod Podge or adhesive this onto your wreath form. And then you're gonna trace or cut out whatever shape you're gonna put in the middle. So you could do like the heart like I did or you could do a circle or a square or whatever you wanna do. So what you're going to do is the same thing just add your paper onto the whatever shape you're using. And then the fun part is adding the words. So you can add like a welcome, you could add your child's name, you could add your last name. I mean, there's so many things that you could put on there. So on mine, I put smile, because I love to smile. So this is just um, some thickers that are in my line that I talked about, and there's all kinds of cute little words, but you can also use just any thickers that you want. So here's some ideas right here. So on this one, I thought it would be cute to put, well, let's see, maybe hello would be cute or family. I don't know, we'll try family. So what you're gonna do is you just put the thickers on, super easy. 
And the nice thing about thickers is that you can, they have like adhesive, but it's not an adhesive that will really pull your paper off. So if you don't get the spacing right, don't stress out about that. You can just take them up and redo the spacing. And I have to do that all the time. So it's not a big deal. So I'm going to just say family. And this would be really cute on a gallery wall. And then you could put some pictures of your family on there. And I'm actually going to do a video about gallery walls if you want to tune into that. But this would be really cute on the gallery wall. So here's your little family. And then you're just going to put it on your wreath like that. And you get the idea. Then you add a little bit of ribbon and you have a wreath. And it's really fun to switch out or make a few different ones, give them as gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and check out my line. It's called Chasing Adventures. It's really cute and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.